Well, you guys got another hardware review here for you and also an installation video of the CPU cooler. Now, if you're in the market for buying yourself a new CPU cooler, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, but you still want a lot of performance, then look no further than the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. It's a very affordable price, but it's also giving good airflow, good cooling, and also good overclocking capabilities. All the information is on the screen here for what sockets it supports and what dimensions and uh, what weight it is and speeds of the fans and pressure and all that sort of stuff is all on the screen right now. You can pause the screen and read that. Now we're gonna take a quick look inside the box what you get for your money. You've got your back plate, which goes on the back of the motherboard. Also, you've got your bracket and all your bolts and screws here. It also comes with free compound, which is a really nice touch from Cooler Master and it's pretty decent compound as well. So you've got all that in the kit. You've got your user manual and also you've got your heatsink and fan. Now the dimensions of the fan are 120 by 120 by 25 mil as you can see and also you've got your material which is made up of which is copper and aluminium. The aluminium fins on the back allow dissipation of heat which is pretty good and also you've got your four pin uh, power connector right there which goes to your motherboard and you'll see me install this a little bit later on. Now make sure you've got your dimensions right. I'll show you a difference between a standard AMD uh, heatsink and uh, the one that we've got here. The dimensions are on the screen right now of the one that you're going to be buying but you can see it's pretty small an AMD heatsink and this one is pretty hefty but also uh, what it's going to do is allow you to keep that uh, CPU a lot cooler even if you're not going to overclock okay it's going to allow you to keep it a lot cooler. So let's get it installed anyway so we've got the back plate out and we're just going to offer this up to the back of the motherboard. Once you've got it uh, offered up, you just need to put the bolts through and then put your little nut on the outside here and tighten them up. Now you just do them finger tight for now, so just get them uh, pushed through and then just tighten them up as I'm doing here. I'm only going to show you one and then I'll show you what to tighten them up with. Now once you've got those tightened up, you can also use a little adjustable spanner if you wish or or whatever tool that you've got which you want to use. This is pretty straightforward stuff really, so you just have to do these reasonably tight. Don't over tighten them because you could damage the motherboard. And just do them in an alternate as you're tightening them up. Now you've got your bracket here. You need to look at the manual and this will tell you where to set uh, the bracket to, okay? There's little uh, tiny holes there that you need to adjust it to. Now we're going to quickly remove the fan from the heatsink so we can uh, tighten it up. This is just comes clipping off like so, just pull the four clips and it should be released. Now we've just got the heatsink itself. Okay, so now we need to offer the bracket up, just push this into the hole and then remove the sticky tape on the bottom here, which protects the copper pipes. Add in your uh, compound here. Now you can see I've added a little bit extra here because this is an AMD processor and also there's little grooves in the copper on the bottom. Tighten the screws up. Now I'm just going to do these alternate, as you can see, and work my way around. Don't over tighten these because you could damage the board. So just do them until they stop and then keep moving around. Now you can put your fan back on. And this just clips back on. Now once you've got your fan on, you can then uh, start thinking about plugging this into the motherboard. Now, a thing to remember here is make sure you've got good clearance with your memory. Now, there was a slight uh, problem here, but I'll show you that in a second. So you can see there, CPU fan 1. This is where our fan power is going to go to. I'm going to plug that in there. Now, you can tidy these cables up a little bit later on. Now, you also, you want to check for your uh, compatibility here. You can see the memory was just pushing against this uh, cooler here so I had to remove the fan a little bit so I could get the memory in and then I can clip the fan back so just make sure that it's compatible with your uh, memory that you buy as well okay and that's pretty much it it's a it's a done deal so anyway so I hope this one helps you out that's the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you find these videos useful, guys, then hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date 
when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with computers, you can head over to the forums and post on there, and uh, I will try and do my best to answer, answer all your questions. Okay, so thanks again for watching.